Hello again, and welcome back to our course in Algorithms and Data Structures here in Yamagata University. In this final session of the course, we are going to complete our journey, first we spoke about lists, tuples, dictionaries, we even got to see the data structures that the pandas library uses. Briefly, we saw the data frame, for example, and the data series. We're going to complete this journey, as I was saying, in the second part of the course, where we have been speaking about algorithm complexity. What does it mean for an algorithm to be fast? Can we compare some algorithms in one particular problem? We saw that there is a difference between the complexity of a problem and the complexity of an algorithm. The complexity of a problem is the complexity of the fastest algorithm that solves that problem. And we have been speaking about one particular problem more than others. We have been speaking about how to sort things, most especially how to sort lists of integers. And so far we have seen some algorithms to do that and we have always said that they were not super fast. We are going to see today in this final day some algorithms, two algorithms that are faster than the ones that we have been seeing. We, have, we are going to be seeing some n log n algorithms. And very specially, we are going to be focusing in two very classic algorithms called merge sort and quick sort. We are going to be coding up to the finest detail one of them, quick sort, and we are going to use them to introduce our last complexity class, n log n. Finally, we will use all that we have learned about all of these sorting algorithms to say something about the sorting problem. 